Can I ask you something? Can somebody explain to me the point of protesting at a particular location? Like, you know, because you can, you know, if you want people to be aware of what is going on, um, you know, definitely there's other means to getting, of communicating that to the public and letting the public know this is what happened in this establishment, they're racist or whatever, you know, you can, you know, uh, that, you know, all types of ways you can do that through the media, through, uh, liter, you know, leaflets and blogs, all types of things you can do. I just don't understand. Like, is it like, oh, if, you know, I, you think that they're going to give you justice because you're standing there blocking the way and they have all the power. Like, so they're just going to get tired one day of y'all standing out there and say, you know, we just going, okay, okay. We're, we, we give up, we give up, you know, you know, laws and things and justice or just us, you know, comes not on the street. Uh, that those matters are um, held up in a courtroom and in and, and council meetings and government meetings and, you know, different branches and whatnot. And we're not talking about street justice. We're talking about, <laughs> ju- no, that justice is in a street. Yeah, that's, you can stand somewhere. Yeah, but no, I'm talking about change for our people or if you're trying to get, you know, some attention to something that is going on. Okay, I just don't understand how black people are sitting up here, you know, protesting in front of precincts. I just don't understand how is that going to get justice? How is that going to get laws changed? Okay, that is not the process of how we can get things changed in our system. Okay, we first need the money. Okay, so we can start buying our own lawyers and, and, and politicians and councilmen and things like that. And, you know, because we all know that's stop with the blinders. It ain't been a real president since Kennedy. Money makes the world go round. Everybody's paid off, even the doctors, lawyers, politicians, everybody's paid. Uh, lobbyists, you got to pay them to lobby for sh- things that you want to have done. So if it seems to me that a more logical, especially for what the heck is happening to black people, it seems more logical when these events start to play out because we know we're not going to get what we we're not going to get it. This been, we've been free over a hundred years. We're not going to get the justice. We've been had our great grandparents and some of y'all great greats, was doing it in the fifties. We did it in the thirties, uh, with this, um, movement in Mississippi and whatnot. Well, I think it was the thirties or something like that. Thirties, forties. I don't remember, but anyway, this is the same. We're going on the same dirt road with the hole in it. We keep going. We're chasing our tail. We're doing the same tactics thinking we're going to get different results. And the only thing boycott that actually, made a substantial difference and what was going on is when we hurt their pocketbooks okay when them buses when we stopped getting on their buses we stopped shopping at their uh stores we stopped banking with them we stopped buying from them they suffered their because they like money they like to have money and do stuff and you know and 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 and, and things and we they didn't have the money to do those things with so they became a problem they had to we, and, and it took a year or so but that's how it happened. And it's going to take black people, you know, because that's what they did back then. They gave rides to each other. And, you know what I'm saying? There was a, there was a story about a black woman. Like, she, older black woman, she walked to work. She had to walk a long way, miles. And she was boycotting boy. And she, somebody bought her a new pair of shoes because she had walked up out of her soles or her shoes. See, that was the discipline and whatnot that we had back then. So, you know, because I think, you know, we knew as a people more so what time it was. We didn't have this lottie dotty dotty 
world that we live in now. It was very blunt in your face back then. You was a nigga. You was called a nigga. Spin your face. You may be hung, strung up. I mean, it was real. Okay, and maybe because we've had this uh, whole, you know, uh, you know, boom with you know integration, and, and we've been integrated. So we, for some reason, we think that something has changed, and it hasn't. It's just, you know, um, you know, it's just the same game played differently. So, and and maybe that we are becoming the under the illusion that you know. Um, that there is peace or justice or something like that, or that we are not still fighting for the same thing. It's still the same thing. Hell is repetition. Okay. Um, I just don't understand it. Can I just, you know, we need to start informing our people, uh, breaking down as to why we need to do this. Why, Wh who are passing the laws? You got, you know, you got from the pharmaceutical companies, to all these other corporations, they're having paying people to help get these laws passed. So the, therefore, dummy, if you start pulling your money from these companies that are getting these laws passed, they won't have the money to, to, to have these laws put in place. Okay. And if you start pulling your money, then you get to start having shit get done. Okay. That's, we need to re-educate our people. We have to go, so when these things happen, which I, quite frankly, I, I think it was intentional. I think the murder was intentional. It has nothing to do with just some racist cop. All these, this shit is intentional. This is intentional. It's intentional why they're starting to call us terrorists. You know, um, it's intentional. You know, it, 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 we're being put in the same breath as a terrorist. Uh, terror. We are inflicting terror among the people. We know that there are laws against terrorists and there is a worldwide campaign on terror and terrorists. Okay. So you do the math. Okay. They're trying to peg us as terrorists. What the hell is a picket sign going to do? It's not going to do anything. We need to get our money into these uh, courts and get our money into these, um, you know, while all these laws are made, we need to get it. We need to funnel our money there. Okay. Um, I seen reports of people acting fool on black Friday. A lot of us did not shop. That's good. And we shopped in other places. We shot a lot of people shop black, but it's like we get, we standing in line for Jordans and TVs. And I see video of white people standing in line, for fucking bullets and, 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 and pistols and rifles. You know, our priorities is messed up. We, 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 we so addicted to the lifestyle and to, and to materialistic things that we are not willing to give that up to be treated humanely and like and unlike a three-fourths human we we are so addicted to materials cars clothes uh you know all of that We'd rather be treated like a dog, discriminated against, have uh, our resumes is discriminated uh, uh, against because of what the name looked like, uh, 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 linguistic profiling on the phone, uh, you know, um, being not being promoted, uh, you know, racist things about our hair. And, not to, and, and that's a whole other video that's coming because I do believe the fact that we as a, especially women, black women, it is the most acceptable form of racism and even black women and people are accept, accepting the fact that we are being still being discriminated against how our natural hair texture is. And I'm going to put a video out there about that. But tell me something. What is this? What is a picket sign going to do? What, what are votes going to do without any money? We are seeing time and time again money. People who, 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 who donated substantial amounts to campaigns or the ones who got the shit heard that they wanted to have heard or, or talked about or passed. Money. Money. Stop buying shit from these crackers. Stop buying this shit. You, they, they're, they're soliciting to us because they know like cocaine or like crack, we're addicted to it. They like the dope man. They just come with the crap. Oh, we got, they had the commercials and shit. You just want that shit. You can't, you, 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 you 
go through bullshit just to have it. 